Alex Jones has, uh, well, how, how do we say, reconciled? But I think off camera they were already reconciled. But I love this clip that's going viral on Twitter of Alex Jones in Glenn Beck Bearing the hatchet, extending the olive branch, and becoming best friends. I was some off base. Glenn was off base. If you kind of move the two together, you kind of get the answer. So yeah. it's a process, mm -hmm. and, and, and so that's it. I, yeah. I, I, I have no animus against Glenn. I'm so glad he's on air. I'm so glad he's more popular than ever, and that's that's where I stand. I, I just that's do not want to fight with Glenn because he's doing a great job. There you go. There you that's go. very nice of him to yeah. say. Yeah, and he has apologized sure. to me, and... Um, I, I actually, uh, I actually gave him one of my paintings. Really? Um, oh. Yes, I did. I hadn't heard yes, that. Yes, I did. Oh, did you get kind one? Of a peace uh, offering. I didn't, I didn't get I, I didn't get one either. No. Well, no, it's just a peace offering or any other kind of offering. Oh, wow. So anyway, uh, I've been working with for over 20 years. Is that so No, I, I, I mean, you know, I, I don't want to be enemies, uh, with people. And I think he has learned a lot. And so have I. He's yeah. right. Um, yeah. You know, it, when he says, I will admit that things are bad now, I honestly didn't think, I was very naive. I really thought, I think we all did. Well, I don't want to dredge this all up. No. But um, I remember was he was, uh, the first time I ever heard of Alex Jones was when he said that I was, right after September 11th, uh, that I was a CIA agent because nobody could rise this fast. He said that, and then that's when I started going off on him of just laughing. Uh, maybe I did attack him first. I, I don't think so, but it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, it doesn't. Really. Yeah, it doesn't. That's such a great clip. And then Alex Jones even said he thinks he was drunk when he called him a CIA agent. So, so like, what were his specific accusations of Glenn? So, so what Alex had said was that there, in this building we're in right now, there was a CIA uh, base underneath it, and that Glenn was working as a CIA operative for, uh, I think, Barack Obama at the time. Well, obviously not true, but, I mean, he is a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, Alex had a period where he was saying some pretty wild stuff on the reg, and, yeah, as he said, he was uh, he was drinking pretty heavy. And he's, he's like, really good friends with Joe Rogan, and then he went after Joe Rogan for, like a, like, a week, and then they buried the hatchet. So Alex is like me, where he is unapologetically himself, and he picks fights, and sometimes I'm wrong when I pick a fight. Alex will tell you that he's not right 100% of the time, but Alex is right about a lot of stuff. I'd say he's right about... 98% of the time, uh, uh, enough to where I, I actually, you know, listen to a lot of what he says. But my point is, him bearing the hatchet with Glenn is a great thing for this culture war that we talk so much about. Oh, culture war, this and that. Because like Glenn and him said, they don't agree on everything, but they both change for the better. And I think that's what's beautiful is that, uh, you know, it's the caterpillar into the butterfly. We're not all born a butterfly. Sometimes we're a caterpillar and we have to... What is, it, what is it called when a butterfly or caterpillar turns into a butterfly, Jimmy? Metamorphosis. We have to have a metamorphosis in our life, and that's very important. So we're all constantly metamorphosizing.